welcome to Alternative Spring Break's presentation. As most of y'all probably know, we went to Jamaica. I'm Crystal Peterson, and I was the student advisor for the trip. Um, I'm Nakano Wiki, and I was just a member of the trip. <laughs> I'm Darlene Lear, and I was also just a member. And I'm Justin Joseph, also just a member. And we're missing one, Cortland. She's not here right now, but yeah, she was also a member, too. So Chris is going to start the presentation. Oh, the video. Oh, Okay, 
it's an alternative spring break, there's actually in with alternative breaks, which is a weekend trip and a spring break trip if you're in this program. So it's community service learning trips, either locally, nationally, or internationally, such as Jamaica, to different cities or countries, is in to engage in active service and also active learning, because we have learned a lot, which we'll talk about in just a little bit. And also to gain new perspectives of social issues, not only in our home state or city, but across the nation as well. And then learning about building within the community, because we were in several different communities in Jamaica, and just the impact that we had on just that Pacific school, as well as the city. And so Jamaica, this is just a little bit about Jamaica. We flew into Montego Bay, but we stayed in Negril, which, um, so it's an island in the West Indies. The population is about 2,716,000. Two um, the language is English, so if it's a little bit different accent, it was really cool to hear them speak. We like to listen to them. Really cool. um, their religion is Protestant, Seventh-day Adventist, Adventist and Pentecostal, and their education was primary education from 6 to 11 year olds is free, then they can go on further into high school and things like that, um, but they still have a little bit of pay, such as lunch and transportation to and from school, and then also vocational trainings, and there's only several universities, except that does cost, there's not a lot of students that go to um, the universities. And this is just a picture of the beach. Mm -hmm. That's where we stay was our site each morning. Okay, so yeah, I'll be talking about um, what we did at the Gordon School. So basically, this wonderful lady, I don't know, like, she didn't really build it by herself, but she founded this school. And um, it started off across the street, kind of like behind where she lived. And then um, Kay, who we worked with, and some of, some other students helped build this school where we just reapply paints because the heat is so bad in Jamaica that it just soaks up all the paint, so it's often chipped. Um, so we painted the school twice, and <laughs> we also built a trench because the water was just coming out through the back. So in the back of the school was just a bunch of you know water and you know, plants growing. Um, so that's what we did because they were about to get shut down for not meeting some standards. Um, so we helped get them to where they needed to be. Um, also, we got to interact with the kids, which was really nice, and we got to see what they were learning, um, which was interesting because we got to see them. They were like a lot of the stuff had to do with fruit when they were learning, so they kept asking like how many fingers. Or a banana, which we didn't even know answers to. <laughs> They're also learning Spanish, which I thought was really cool. Um, and really like big words that you wouldn't expect three-year-olds to like use, like obedient to disobedient, and um, what happens when you're obedient and when you're disobedient. <laughs> um, also, we got to see that they don't use school buses. They actually take taxis to come to school, which is really interesting. And they take them by themselves without their parents. Yeah. So like three to six year olds hopping in a taxi. And at like one point we saw one that had like ten little kids inside of it. <laughs> and they just all like chuckled out and stuff like that. And she was saying like it's normal for them. Like the principal was saying sometimes she doesn't even see the parents. Um, she sees them twice a year. Once at the beginning when they make the payment and then at the end of the year. So. So um, at Cove School, which was pretty cool, this was the next um, level up, which was like fourth grade-ish, um, a little bit, well, yeah. After six-year-olds, it was like 10-ish, 12, 12-ish. 12, um, and so basically what we were kind of doing, they eat inside of their school, which is causing them to like have ants and stuff like that. So what we were doing was um, other schools that had worked with Kay had already built like a platform, like a concrete platform, and they're building a pavilion so that the little kids can eat on. Um, like one of the schools that were staying with us, they started working on building the lunch tables and the chairs. Um, what we worked on was finish um, cementing like the cement blocks on the side. And what's interesting, like in our videos that they don't have cement mixers over there, so we had to mix the cement. 
in the hot burning heat, which was a lot of fun. Um, and well, and so it was like you had to put the dirt in, and they had to put the rocks on top, and they had to use a lot, a lot of water. And we only had one hose, so we just had to wait for the hose to sit yeah. there and hold it like this, so it could come out. And I know Cortland and I carried the cement bags. 90 pounds is what they said. And there was like five of them, really heavy. Um, and then what we're building right here is actually a um, wire ring so that they could stick it inside of the, um, in, oh, the bean, yeah, inside, it's a bean, so that they could stick it inside and then just pour the cement within the wood so that it can hold when the wood, like, melts with the sun. Um, so that's what we built. We built about two or three of those. Yeah. 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 The second time around was a lot faster. Yeah, the second time we was a lot faster. This one actually took like three hours. Um, but we had to like bend the wire, bend the metal, which was pretty cool um, the way we did it. And like once we all got a hang of it, it was kind of cool because we were like, here we go. We all knew our specialties. Yeah. Um, but what was really helpful was the three workers that were there that day that helped us. Um, Siobhan, Paul, and Richard. And Paul and Siobhan, our son and um, father and so they really they worked there every day they like it was pretty cool to see like same clothes every time we saw them they were working hard they weren't complaining like us sometimes they're like oh the heat and they're like what <laughs> it's funny how they would just look at us when it was a lunch break we're all like yeah they're like okay let's just eat and get back to work um but we had a lot of fun with these kids also um, they really, really like to take selfies in Jamaica. Yeah. <laughs> it's unbelievable. Like, they love cameras. So we did a lot of that with them. And in the video you saw us, we were playing um, Little Sally Walker with them um, and some other games, Red Light, Green Light with them. So I think that was also one of the fun things about Coast School. So um, we, most of the time, most of the <laughs> Most of the days we were in Jamaica, we were working, but there were a few days where we were able to have fun. Uh, the first day that we didn't have any work to do, we actually went to a Jamaican church, and this was a Pentecostal service, and it was really, really interesting to see. Um, their service actually starts in the morning, and then it goes all day. It's just praise and worship all day. We didn't stay all day. Uh, we only stayed <laughs> an hour. <laughs> but it was very interesting to see. Um, I had never experienced anything like that. And then we went and visited a few restaurants um, and had some Jamaican food. We had their uh, popular food, which is jerk chicken. It's super spicy. And I, we also had ting, which is amazing. Yeah. It's like this, yes. great, yes. this is grapefruit soda, and it's amazing. And I'm sad they don't sell it here. Um, and, so, and then we also, that same day, we went on a boat ride, a glass bottom boat ride um, along the coast. and. Um, that was, what did we do? We, we drove all the way to Rick's Cafe, and we got to see little kids jumping off the cliffs, and we got to give them a little dollar for doing it. And <laughs> we had to throw it in the water for them. Yeah, we had to throw it in the water for them. Semi-snorkeling. Semi-snorkeling, we got to jump off the boat and actually swim into caves. <laughs> that was actually a lot of fun. Um, so we got to do that, we got to take a lot of underwater pics, which is not on here, but um, the second free day that we had, we went to a place called YS Falls, which is right there, and um, it was just, um, it was, it's basically a water, okay, we got to go, it was also we got, we got to go zip lining across jungles, um, no wait, we got to go, sorry. Okay, we got to go zip lining across waterfalls in a jungle on top of a mountain. So that's what we did. And um, this place is really cool. They have like levels of waterfalls, and we got to run all up and down along the waterfalls and do fun stuff like that. And am I missing anything else? <laughs> okay, so if you're wondering how to get involved, maybe you're thinking um, you want to go next year, um, if they decide to go to Jamaica next year, um, you can visit the TW Volunteer Services website to become a participant, and you can apply. The applications are on the website, and then you uh, go through like an interview process, and you get accepted. And then you start figuring out ways how to fundraise to go. Fundraise early. <laughs> yeah, fundraise early. Applications will be um, open at the beginning of the fall semester, like the first day. So for the fall trips and the spring break trip. Okay, do you have any questions for us? Anything to ask? 
with the Gordon School, um, if you guys hadn't have dug that trench that you dug, the school would have been closed, right? Yeah. So, I mean, if you hadn't have done that, then there would have been kids that wouldn't have received an education. About like 30 or 60, well, she yeah. said 60 little kids, three to six year olds. And it was like completely change of our plans. Like, we were like, because the first day we had finished painting, like, all the shutters, because we were going to paint all the shutters and finish the rest of the school and the doors. And then the um, the principal was talking to Kay, and she was like, "Well, we need to get this fixed." They start. They had already built like a big like pit where they're putting rocks in so that the water could go there also underground. And then she was like, "Okay, well, we need to buy pipes. We need to do this. We need to dig this trench." And I guess the day that we didn't come back because we went on Monday and th Thursday. Um, between those two days, the inspector had come again and was like, if you guys don't get this fixed by Monday, your school's closed down. So it was complete like change for us because we thought we were just going to paint. But they were like, nope, you guys need to dig this trench. And they, I think you went and bought the pipes with them? Yeah. yeah. Um, went and bought the pipes from the hardware store and stuff like that. So, yeah, that was a pretty interesting arrangement for us. And also, I believe a couple of months before we came, some people actually had stolen some of the school supplies from oh, the school, yeah. so it was also really mm -hmm. interesting how they kind of just had to, they have to work around a lot of things. I mean, it was simple things, that's just plates and cups, that's what but they that's stole. Totally but that was something that they need, you know, our school is like paper plates and things like that, so I stole that, you know, kind of no big deal, but that was something really huge that they really had to work around. Any other questions? I don't know if I missed this, but how do you decide where the trip goes every semester? Um, that is actually Michelle, which we didn't introduce. This is Michelle. She was, she's the volunteer coordinator, and then Natasha, which is also went on the trip with us. She's the career counselor here at TV. Um, and so they decided different proposals and stuff through the school. Yeah. Thank you guys for Thank coming you. out. If you guys didn't grab pizza, go ahead and grab yeah. some. But if you have any questions, Michelle and Natasha are here and we're here also. But thanks guys. Thank you. Thank you.